what we've learned in recent anthropology is that the transformation in our evolution that separated us from the apes um, and, and led to the growth of our brains and the shrinking of our jaws and our gut uh, which happens about 1.8 million years ago when we become, even before we're human, before we're Homo sapiens, when we're Homo erectus, that dramatic transformation has kind of mystified archaeologists and anthropologists for a long time. What would cause such a profound change? Um, and for a while they thought maybe it was meat eating, um, but meat eating can't really explain it because eating raw meat. Um, in fact, you need a giant jaw to chew it. It's really hard to chew, and you need a big gut to digest it because it's really hard to digest. What it really is, it appears, is uh, the discovery of cooking with fire. And when we figured out this amazing trick, this critical technology, um, these amazing changes happen. And the reason is that when you cook food, essentially you externalize much of the work and the energy needed for digestion. So that instead of your body having to do it all, and we burn a lot of calories digesting, or we used to, um, it, it takes place, the partial breakdown of the proteins and the carbohydrates and the fats, um, and it becomes detoxified and it becomes easier to chew. Um, it's a huge deal. And it really gives us this tremendous evolutionary edge because it also gives us access to foods other animals can't eat, like tubers, most of which are toxic unless you cook them. Cassava potatoes, you know, you eat raw potatoes, you, you, you can have solanine poisoning. Um, but, but we found when you cook them, you could eat them. And so we had this new stash of calories that other animals didn't have. So it gave us a big edge. But this, uh, this energetic, this boom of energy we got from cooking food appears to be what underwrites the growth of our brains. Our brains are tremendous energy guzzlers. They, they take up about 2% of your body weight, but they, take, but they use 20% of the energy uh, you take in. So it's expensive to maintain a brain, and you can't do it without cooked food. So you raw foodists, take note. Um, now... Raw food, you ask, okay, well, there are people who eat raw food, and some people try to do raw food exclusively. Um, but most of them don't do very well. Um, and half of the women on raw food diets stop menstruating. Um, they're not getting enough energy. Um, and anyone who does do raw food is highly blender dependent. I mean, if you know any people who cook raw food, they'd be literally dead without a blender because that's doing all that chewing. <laughs> And, and that work of digestion. So I would say that actually qualifies as a, as a primitive form of cooking. 